Oh, of course, procedural generation is a great example of non-generative AI um, to use to build games. Uh, and in fact, Left 4 Dead has an influence on um, a other game in the space I want to talk about because I don't want to give it away. Uh, but they don't actually start the very beginning of their levels by hand. Instead, I met them because we were talking about the uh, Left 4 Dead dictionary, and that was we had defined these different spaces. So we had an understanding of how the different spaces work. Like a long hallway with a lot of doors slows people down. Um, right? Like one way is wide open spaces with flows and like we just defined a bunch of spaces and then looked to see how people played through them so we had an understanding of breaking up uh, kind of the rhythm of our game in using those spaces. They took that further and said, okay, let's build all these spaces out and then how do they fit together? Well, we can just have the computer figure that out and we can just keep building it, right? And that's them owning the input and the output of it and it generating stuff directly for them, right? I use ChatGPT in that video a lot as a shorthand for generative AI because generative AI isn't funny and ChatGPT fed my joke. Uh, but it, that is the stuff that I'm talking about that is the negative, right? Because you can't do that kind of work using that. I mean, yeah, you can put your own stuff in, but it's just still not the same. It's still not the same kind of way that it can be harnessed and, and focused, right? And a lot of this stuff gets confused with machine learning. Before machine learning, in my day, uh, we made a lot of money with fuzzy logic. Ooh, that was fancy AI. You know what fuzzy logic was? It was just tokenizing data and then comparing the token tokens versus t uh, the raw data. Hey, you made us a lot of money. Uh, but, uh, right, there's always some version of those kind of things out there that are like, Houdini's a great tool, right? And those are great. And yeah, you should use those. Those will help you speed up your workflow. Those will help you focus. Those will help you do a bunch of things. And like, you know, the clown saying that you have to do this, otherwise you have to make the textures by hand and each pixel needs to be put down. Like, what, dude, you don't make games. You have no idea how games are made. Uh, but procedural generation, especially a lot of the stuff that's happening in Unreal and stuff is fun, but it's still not the end all, right? And I had somebody we were playing Left 4 Dead the other day come in and say, hey, is this procedurally generated? And I'm like, no, because that's bad. And what I mean by that is, you know, like my friend takes the procedural generation of that and then they finish it off with actual level designers. If you just have it continuously be an unknown for what's coming next, in a game like Inverses, you can't plan for that, right? You can't make moves, you can't adjust, you can't be like, hey, let's wait to here and then we're gonna go all attack together or whatever, right? It's about learning the map. And map knowledge is the easiest thing you can get to a um, starting player. And once they learn the map, they're bunch, they're definitely better even if they haven't actually gotten the Twitch skills up. And that's something that I really like in multiplayer games and why I think you don't want to have procedural generation in that place. But it is what makes some other games harder then when they kind of lean into that a little bit and that unknown for players. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of uses that people um, use uh, in this space. Like Unity did a whole bunch of stuff with the machine learning stuff. I mean, they had a whole department in that because they were doing some interesting things. And again, you know, that is all interesting stuff that you can do um, process through data. The problem with generative AI is two things. One, it's built on stolen data. So the big, the big players, even if you can't recognize, someone's like, well, I'd only be mad if I could recognize the art. No, no, no. So what, you just don't, you hate non-famous artists? No, no, they took people's work and put it in there. And that was early on with Grammarly. I was trying to explain to somebody not to use Grammarly because Grammarly just makes your work generic and it makes it acceptable for Grammarly, but not for human consumption. And you just glaze over it. And I think that's why a lot of people just glaze over. Like you get letters, you like, you get emails at work, right? And you don't even read them. You're like, Bleh. I, I used to send emails at work. I remember one time Robin uh, had to be like, hey, if you're new here, uh, that's Chet sending the email. Uh, just remember that kind of like, because yeah, like you, you, you want to have something memorable. I remember people wrote in after the orange box, about uh, like this, like, you know, the gay men email and we, they filter them all and put them in there. We started answering them. And one was just about like the mats, something about a mat. I'm like, oh, I fired that mat. But I'm like, we have a lot of mats. So I'm just gonna go through all the mats and start firing all the mats. Right, and all of a sudden it's like on Kotaku and they're talking about it and stuff because I just didn't do some generic, hey, thanks, right? I started making a joke about firing everybody because it's one person's email and how we're gonna clear house. And that person remembers that, and they, they share that with Kotaku, and like, right, like, it all feeds, and it's like, that's what I said, like, every little thing matters. You just don't know what that little thing is, so you need to have crafted, you need to care about it, right? And it's not about being the fastest done. But money is time, and so that's where the trade-off is, and so, like, in my case, I'm just gonna make something smaller.
be like a 15 second experience, but it'll be really nice. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not that guy either. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff um, that you can use AI for in games. Just don't use generative AI.